Hi, welcome to Homegrown Music. Why is Ramona Jean? That is Ramona Jean. I am Amelia. I am Mrs. Thompson. And today we're going to talk about vibrations. I'm really excited uh, for this one. What does that mean? Vibrations are what happens whenever you hear something. So anything that has any kind of noise comes from a vibration that travels through the air molecules all the way to your ears. So the, what do your what do ears mean? These are your ears. Oh, air! I was like, I hope you know what ears are. Air is everything around us. It's something that you can't even really feel that most times, but the air molecules are always there. So Amelia, Ramona, take your hand and put it on your throat right here. And can you go la 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 la? Did you do you feel the vibration in your hand? That is what happens with every instrument, every sound, every creak in every house comes from a vibration. So we're gonna do our own little sound experiment so we can show you some vibrations. And then what are we gonna use to create vibrations? My big practice amp for my guitar. We're gonna play some music through it. And we're gonna show you guys how to vibrate salt. Check it out. So we laid our amp on its back. I did have to tuck a kitchen towel over on this side because my amp was at a slight angle and all the salt was trying to bounce away. So you'll see that in a minute. And if you don't have an amp at home, I do have another way for you to do this. So just hang on tight. I have a way that all you need is a, a cell phone to do it. But I really want to try the amp way first. So Amelia, would you take that paper plate, honey, and put it in the middle of the amp? So the plate is just kind of our salt guard. Because I'm also going to ask Emily to take this very flat piece of black paper and put it in the middle of the plate. Right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour salt on the black paper. The black paper is going to let us see it. And the salt, the, uh, the paper plate is going to make sure that the salt does not go into my amp. Because that would be very sad. Let's do a little bit of salt right there. Good. All right. I found a really cool version of the Imperial March that we are going to play. It is a dubstep version, which will be awesome for us because it will have so much bass to it, which is what's really going to get it shaking. which is very likely that you don't just have an amp sitting around, you can actually use your phone if you can figure out where the speaker is. So on my phone, the speaker is right up here. So that's where the sound vibrations are gonna come from. So what I did, I made a little um, construction paper tray. It's just a square that Amelia cut me and we folded the edges up. I kind of pinched the corners of it and I put some salt inside of it. So I put it right up there on the speaker. If you watch carefully, you will still see some vibrations. They're not as big, but they're there. Moving. Yeah. The vibrations. It's not as big, right? But it's still there. Oh, don't knock it. All right. So, what did you think of our experiment today? Great, wasn't it cool? What did you get to see in this Vibrations. Song? Vibrations. All our sound comes from vibrations. We hope you guys have fun. If you do this experiment at home, we would love to see what you come up with. I bet there's different things you could vibrate. What do you think would happen if they vibrated sprinkles? It will go slowly. Though. Maybe it would go slowly. I don't know. There's tons of different things you could vibrate. Oh, Let us know what you oh, do. Oh, Oh, sparkles. Sparkles. Oh my gosh. Glitter would be so fun. If and you try sparkles. glitter, let us know. Bye.